Hello everyone, welcome back. In this part, we're going to talk about animations in CSS. First, let's have simple div so we can work with this in our design, which we have simple text inside it. Then here we're gonna select our div and let's give this a background of violet, for example, and have some padding around it and make the display of that in line black. And we can have some border radius around this. For adding animation to our design, we need to use this keyframes keyword. And after this here, we're gonna set the name of our animation, which mine is first animation. And here we can set some things that we want. The first thing we can have is from keyword. And here we can set, for example, our background, which is violet, we want to change this to, let's say we want this to be purple. And to add this to our div, here we're gonna use animation-name, and here we're gonna use the thing that we have defined, which is first animation in this case. And after this, we need to define our animation duration, which let's say we want this to be three seconds. Now you'll we'll see our animation is applying. And if I refresh the page, you see it's going from violet to purple. But another thing that we can have is to use 0% instead of this from right here and 100% here in the two. You see now, if I refresh the page, it's going to go from violet to purple. And between of these, I can use something, for example, in 50 pixels, I want my background to be black. You see now here, it's going to start from the violet, go to black, and then go to purple. And of course, we can have some other values right here. Let's say here in 25%, we have some background of green. Now you'll see it's going to go to green, black, and then the purple. Let's make these like this so we can read this better. And here, another thing that we can have is our animation delay. That here, let's say, if we give this five seconds of delay, after we refresh our page, you see now we have waiting five seconds before animation starts, and then our animations is going to be start and going on. But let's say we want our animation before we open our web page and when we open the web page it's going to be in the middle of animation. To do that let's say we have six seconds of duration in our animation and in animation delay we're going to use negative values. So here if I use minus two you see if i refresh the page it's going to start from green fading to the black which is something between 25 percent and 50 percent which if you calculate from the here you see we have in the 33 percent and we can have that and of course if you want to start from the screen we can use one and a half seconds so it's gonna start from the green and not the violet let's say we have simple one seconds of delay here and after this you see we have our animation going on just once and after this go to violet it's gonna end the animation but what if we want to do that repeatedly so here we have our another thing of animation iteration count that here we define how many times we want our animation to be played let's say we want this three times now if i refresh the page you see it's gonna go to green black and purple then violet again this is the second time that our animation is going on and this is the third time and after this we should stop the plane as you see of course you can do anything that you want here but in some cases you don't want this to be end and maybe you want this to be in two seconds no animation plays right here and you want this to go on with no stop. So here you can use the keyboard of infinite. And you see now it's going to play and never stop. And for adding something so 
it don't jump from purple to violet, we can use this to 75%. And after this, we can use this to 100 and put the color violet again. Now you'll see it's very smoother than before. Let's make the duration five seconds. So it go slowly. And after this, we have another thing called animation direction that here we specify how we want our animation to act. We want this go from zero to hundred, hundred to zero, come to hundred and then get back to zero, come to hundred and stay in this. So we're gonna talk about this. First one that we have is basically our normal thing that we have. And let's make the count of this to maybe two so we can see the difference. And if I refresh the page, you see it's going to start from zero, 25, 50, 75, and then 100. And after this, it's gonna do the animation again. But I want to delete this one so we can see the end and start differently. Violet, green, black, and purple again. Another thing that we have is reverse direction. That you see here, it starts from 100, goes to black, goes to green, then violet, again black, green, and then violet. After this, we have our alternate one, which as you see, it's going to come from 0, 25, 50, then 100. And after this, it's going to come back to the 50%, come back to the 25, and then 0 again. So it's going to start from 0 to the finish, and from finish to the 0 after that. And after this, we have this one, continued by hyphen and reverse which is going to be exactly opposite of this. It's going to start from 100, go through the 0%, and after that, it's going to come back to 100%, as you see. After this, we have our animation timing functions that we had these and covered these in the transition part, but I'm gonna tell you about this here again, which here we have our simple linear one which is going to change less let's, let's actually make this a little smoother things make this simple black this one is going to go with the static speed and changing after this we have our ease which is gonna change differently and after that we have our is in which is going to start and goes with different speed again and after this we have our is out which is going to start a little differently and going on of course after this we have our is in dash out that we can use which is going to start with speed slow the process and then speed up a little after this we have another thing called animation fill mode and here we can define four things. First one is the none that we can have and you saw. And let's make the duration to three seconds so we can get the result faster. Pay attention that here we get the 0% when we finish our animation. But after this, we have forward keyboard that we can use here. That you see after we run our animation, which is two times here, we got the black and the last one applied. Now let's make the direction of our animation to normal. And here you can see we come from violet and go to black and let's make the count to the one. So it be more faster. Yeah, this is good. You'll see now if I use this four bars and if I add another value of 50% right here and make the background, let's say green right here, you see here, we're going to start and finish and deploy the last thing that we want. After our animation finished, we got the background to set it on black and stayed on black, which means the 100% keyframe. But after this, we have this backwards thing going on that you see it's going to be green, black, and then come back to the 0%. And after this, 
we got our both keyword going on and of course we can have shorthand of our animation instead of this bunch of properties to use so we use simple animation right here that you see we have blueprint of what we have here so we have the name Let, let's say our name is first animation our duration let's say we want this to be two seconds our timing function we want this to be is in our delay we want one seconds of delay we want our animation to repeat three times the direction we want this to be normal and the fail mode let's say we want this to be forwards you see now our animation is going to apply actually i have misspelled this one now it should be acting yeah you see now our animation is going to be play right here but after this animation in background we can have animation going on for all of the properties that we have for example let's say here again we have simple div with text inside of it so here we're gonna select our div first right here give this some bit for example 50 pixels 60 pixels right here then the height let's say 20 pixels is enough in this case and then we can have some background let's make this blue color and the color our text to be white for example and let's make the text in the center of our div and we can have some border radius so this can be a little nicer and actually i'm gonna make this three pixels yes this is good now here we can have other values that to change instead of our background color in our animation so we're gonna create animation of course we're going to start that with keyword of keyframes and then the name of our animation which in this case i'm gonna name this a1 and then here we have our stage so we can edit them let's say first we have simple from and to and we want this to be from margin left from zero to margin left to ramp and if i add my animation to my div here with the name of a1 and let's say we want this to take two seconds to apply you'll see how it's gonna go and of course we can have our percent type of stage right here instead of these let's say we want this 25 percent another one for 50 percent and let's say we have one for 75 percent and at the last we have our 100 percent going on and i'm gonna align this just like these select all of this so i can have all of my margins right here so here let's say in the first place we don't have any margin anywhere but then in the 25 percent well let's say we want here 100 pixel margin for left after this let's say in the 50 percent stage we want to have again that 100 pixel margin in the left but let's say we want another 100 pixel in the top of our element after this we can have this for 100 pixel right here and then it's gonna going something like rectangle thing in our design and in the last part let's say we want this to be in the half of the size first and then go to its original place or for being smooth of course we can make this zero so the first and the last one is the same thing and here you see if i change the duration for example to three seconds make this let's say is in right here and we want this to go infinite you see how this is going to be applied and no matter what property that we want we can change that using our animations please do like and subscribe to catch next videos